hey guys this is anywhere rumor content queen welcome to my youtube channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share and subscribe to my youtube channel Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial how to use Paystack for automated payments. So if you are a coach, you have online courses or online training and you want people to pay, you don't want a situation whereby someone pays and then they have to send you the proof of their payments before you can give them access to your product or your training. Paystack is an amazing platform that you can use and Paystack works for um, residents in Nigeria and Ghana. You can also use Paystack to receive international payments if you have a US domiciliary account, which would either be a personal domiciliary savings account or a current domiciliary account. And the two banks that actually work with domiciliary accounts from now are GT Bank and Denit Bank. So I'm just going to show you how you can use Paystack for your automated payment. What you need to do first is to go to Google and search for Paystack. Then the first search result that comes up, you click on it and then you see create a free account. So that's what you click on to create a free account. I already have a Paystack account. So um, I'm just going to be showing you how to create yours and how to use it for your automated payment. All right. So there's Paystack for Android, but we don't want to use that. Let's click never mind and then you start with your legal business name. So I'm just going to create something, just um make up something for the purpose of this tutorial. So let's say I use um designing. Company. So my work email, I'm just going to create something. Okay, I'll create a password. Okay, so country of residence, like I said, it's just available for residents in Nigeria and Ghana. So I'm going to choose Nigeria because that's where I'm currently staying and create account. Okay, welcome to Facebook account was created successfully. Okay, so now that you've successfully created your Paystack account, the next thing you need to do is to fill out all these details here. Okay, so I'm just going to start filling them out. Okay, my role is um, founder. Are you a software developer? No, I'm not. So, what's the business about? Okay, okay. What industry does the business operate in? Choose industry. Um, I'm going to choose. Since I chose um, interior design. Where does that even fall under? Okay, leisure and entertainment. So, what's the registration status of your business? Now, this is when you choose if your business, if your business is a starter business, it means it has not been registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission if you are in Nigeria. And if your business is a registered business, then you will need to provide your um, RC number, registration number, BN number, whatever number you are asked to. You know provide so i'm just going to choose starter business okay and how many people work with you at the moment so i'm going to choose under 10 employees do you need 
to support do you need to support international customers of course because you want to receive payments from all over and then you click on complete setup i'm trying to see okay i didn't see my last name okay so we'll go over everything again to see that all the details are well filled um, industry okay I think that's perfect. So click complete setup. Alright, so once you've gotten to this page, you'll be told that your business is currently in test mode and this means that there are a couple of things you need to finish up before customers can start paying you online. And then when you look down here you see three sessions here, sections, and they're saying one or four tasks completed. So you have to activate your business, meaning that you've done only step one out of four steps. So you click on continue and see the remaining things that you have to do to make sure that your business page is activated. So out of all these steps, you have personal information, business information, verification document, assessment account, and true color verification, which is optional. So let's click on business information. So that you can see exactly what is there and then we encourage you to fill out as many of these details as you can so anyone you see with red asterisks on top that's a compulsory um, question you have to answer so when you finish filling all these details okay I'm just going to you know skim through it I don't think like I can start doing everything one after the other. If not, this video is going to be too long. So there's one other thing you should know about using Paystack. When you use Paystack, there's a certain percentage they collect from every payment that comes into your account. Okay, so you need to find that out. You can just Google search, browse it out, and know the percentage that they ask for every payment that comes into your account. So what they do is take a percentage commission for every payment that comes into your account and then take an additional fee of about 100 Naira if you're in Nigeria. I think that 100 Naira fee is a standard amount they collect for every um, single payment that comes into your account. Then they still collect a certain percentage of the particular amount that comes into your account. So when you look at it at the end of the day, um, in as much as they're collecting money from you because obviously they need money to keep running paystack and paystack keep needs to keep running for you to have an automated payment system if you look at it at the end of the day it's worth the money they're collecting from you because imagine 500 people pay you for a particular course and then each of those 500 people start sending you emails start sending you dms with proof of their payment and then you have to start sorting everybody one after the other that's really tasking so in my opinion it's actually fair the um, amount they collect for commissions to just save you that time and save you that stress so that i can use that time to do other things so you want to find out what exactly the amount is that they collect from you okay and these are the other things they ask you for so you just need to set up all these things once all these things are ready what you need to do is to go to your payment pages i won't be able to show you payment page with this account because obviously my account is not ready i've not verified it i've not done anything to this account so you need to set this up and then it works okay then you set up your payment page you see there are um, lots of information you can fill there and then there's an advanced um option okay the advanced option is where you can now write a welcome message when someone just logs into your payment link when someone clicks on the link the first thing they see of course is the you know welcome message which you can type there and customize per payment page and you can choose a particular fixed amount you want you can choose to collect email addresses you can choose to collect phone numbers and then at the end of the month um, it will be saved for you in an Excel spreadsheet so you can just download it at any time that you like and that's like having data from your customers it's actually something that is really helpful too 
okay and um playstaff also gives you the um ability to insert another link into your payments link so for instance let's say you are selling an ebook and then the ebook costs three thousand naira, and that ebook is already um on a particular platform let's say for instance that ebook is in your google drive or maybe on your website or something and then you you know create your payment page people come to your page and they see hey welcome to let's say the name of your book is step it up um you just have a small welcome message there and then they see the form and the form asks them for their name which is a compulsory um, requirement to fill out on the payment form after name then you see um you can ask for email address which is optional but i always advise that it's good to ask for as much data as you can but you don't want it to be too bulky so that your customers don't get tired of you know filling details just because they want to buy something so you ask for as much data as you can but don't make it too much okay so let's say you've asked for name um email address and then probably phone number and then the fixed amount there is three thousand naira for your ebook now in your payment page when you go to advanced setting you can you know choose the email address you want you can choose the email address you want um all the payment notifications to come into so if 10 people pay for your particular ebook in 20 minutes you get 10 different emails so that particular email address is used there okay so it also helps for accountability in case you start saying in case someone says oh i paid through paystack and um uh i didn't get my book you know you can actually verify because of those emails that you've received okay you can verify because of those emails that you've received so that you can actually know that oh this person you really paid and then when you download paystack for android i don't know if there's paystack for ios yes i don't know but when you download paystack for android the app paystack merchant app you can actually see those who started payments and didn't go through with the payments and you can still see those who started payments and um the payment failed so in case someone is trying to lie or trying to cheat you out of your money you can actually verify with paystack merchants app you would see it there to be indicated um cost of failure it's either the person didn't go through with the payments or the payment actually failed when someone doesn't go through with payments um the button here is gray and if payment fails for someone the button is red and if the payment was successful the button there is green so you can just download paystack merchants app to you know verify all these things okay and then um in the advanced settings for your payment page you can then um you know impute the url of where your digital products or wherever you want your customers to go to after they finish paying you just insert it there so that when once they click pay and the money has been debited from their bank account it will automatically redirect them to that particular place where they can get the products that they've paid for so you want to tell your customers you want to even include it in the success message because obviously they'll ask for a success message so you want to make sure that you tell your client to pay for your product like after sending them congratulations on buying whatever let them know that they shouldn't refresh that page because they'll be automatically redirected to where what they've paid for is so if they're paying for an ebook that's saved in your google drive you can just copy the link from your google drive and then insert it into the payment page in the advanced settings okay and then once someone pays automatically they'll get redirected to that page so what i always do each time i create a payment page on paystack is to test it out myself okay because i don't want someone to complain so what i do when i create a page i pay myself okay i buy whatever is there and then see if everything works fine so paystack is really an amazing platform for you to use i'm going to be able to show you everything here because obviously this account is not verified so when you get to this step you can take it up from here you know fill in all your business information your business details and all that stuff and then once your account is ready you can create your payment page create your first payment page um test it out yourself okay so there's another thing you need to know when someone or when people pay you through paystack you don't expect the payments to land in your bank account that same day okay because when you are filling your details 
and one of these um places where you have settlement account let us know where to send your payout to okay so you need to fill in your correct bank details once paystack has your current correct bank details when anybody or people pay for your products or services the very next day it takes about 24 hours or even less than 24 hours to automatically get credited to your bank account the particular bank account that you chose for um paystack to use okay so don't say oh someone paid me money today and how come i didn't sit in my bank account no it takes 24 hours for paystack to automatically send that money to your account so um this is just it and if you want to you know change the price of your product or your service you can go to your um payment pages click on the particular one you want and edit it you can do anything you want to it at any time you can even deactivate it if you don't want it to you know keep running so you can do just about anything on paystack paystack is really easy to use and really amazing so once you get to this page just fill out all this information and then you are good to go using your paystack thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to my youtube channel